Hi there, welcome to part one in a five part series all about creating deep house and deep tech and tech house sounds within Native Instruments Massive. We know Native Instruments Massive is great at creating dubstep wobbles, complextro sounds, electro sounds, but it's also great at those kind of deeper, more analogy type sounds, and that's what this series of tutorials is all geared around. So we're going to start with part one, creating a deep tech bass in Native Instruments Massive. So I'm going to give you a quick play of the sound we're going to make, then we're going to initialize the preset and rebuild this sound. So go ahead and create a new sound with Inside Massive and start programming these oscillators. We're going to make oscillator 1 a hard sync wave. We're going to pull the wave table position all the way to the left. And we're going to take the pitch down by two octaves I'm going to keep the intensity on full, the amp on fill, and it's going to be a blend of, of routing to both filter 1 and filter 2. And I'm going to turn on oscillator 2. This is going to be a reducer wave. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the pitch up by 5 semitones. I'm going to keep the wavetable position all the way to the right. The intensity we're going to bring right down here, and we're going to make it a formant. So the formant shift is coming right down there. The amp we're going to pull back, you know, round about halfway, just take the volume of this oscillator down a little bit. This is rooting to both filter 1 and filter 2 again. Oscillator 3, we turn that on. It's going to stay as a square saw. Keep the wavetable position all the way to the right, so it's just going to be a saw wave. And take the pitch down 7 semitones. And this is the eff effectively the same as having it pitched up five semitones, so it's going to be nice and in key with this oscillator too we've got going on here. So maybe pull the intensity down of this one a little bit and pull the amp down to, you know, just above halfway. And this is also rooting to both filter one and filter two. That's the sound we've got so far, so we can start programming this filter here. So we're going to make filter one a low pass four filter and pull the cutoff up there a little bit pull the resonance down a little bit, keep the volume of the filter on full and so it's kind of shaping the sound a little bit there and we're actually, this series in parallel, we're going to pull this up to series, I'll explain this a bit more in a second and set filter 2 now, I'm going to make this a comb filter take the pitch of this comb filter, quite high pull the damping down a little bit, and the feedback down a little bit and the volume of this filter we're going to pull up and I actually mix the mix of the two filters, mix one and two, pull to about halfway, so we've got an even mix of both these filters in the sound. And basically what's happening now with this series, slight series parallel slider up here, the, the sound from the oscillator is actually going to go to filter one, pass through filter one, then go to filter two, and then go to the output. If we put it into the parallel, it's just going to go, the sound from these three oscillators, it's going to go through both these filters at the same time. So we can actually get quite an interchangeable sound here by moving this slider up and down. Which might be nice to macro if you wanted, you know, or maybe even some automation on there. So we're going to start doing a bit of modulation now. I'm going to modulate the cutoff of filter 1 with an envelope. So load up uh, envelope 1, drag it into the modulation 1 slot. I'm actually going to pull the modulation in reverse here. So, creating quite a nice sort of tone. And then back off the attack of this envelope a little bit. And maybe shape it something like that. Okay. So for the next piece of modulation, we're going to use envelope modulation again, and we're going to give the sound a little bit of a percussive edge by modulating the pitch of these three oscillators. So we want an envelope shaped something like this. So it's kind of very fast attack and very no sustain at all, and no release really, and a very short decay. And then we're going to drag this to the pitch modulation of these three oscillators and take the pitch up by, or the modulation up by 36 semitones. And this is going to give the sound a percussive attack. We can 
can actually get rid of that. I mean, this is sort of to taste, really, if you want that in there. And if you can get rid of it by just pulling the level, the attack level, right down. So it's kind of up to you whether you want that in there or not. And the next things to set up, really, are the effects. So we can go for a classic tube in effects one. Maybe pull the dry wet down a little bit, the drive down a little bit. And then select a sync delay for the uh, effects too. And this will bring the sound to life a little bit. Have the damp quite high. Maybe pull, maybe have the, um, the right and left delay channels a uh, 1 over 8. Okay, some sort of final thickening of the sound now, really. Going to take the voices up to three. Going to make it a monophonic synth. And you can turn the pitch cut off on. And then just pull this down a little bit, just to get a bit more of a sort of thicker kind of chorusy sound. Take this glide down. Maybe give the sound a little bit of width as well. Turn the volume down. And then by setting up these two filters, we've got this cool interchangeable sound here. So. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial, basically making a kind of deep techie bass within Native Instruments Massive. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you check out part two of this series where we're going to be making a tech house lead sound. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.